Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Well, I'm working on this bell sculpture. Uh, this is this is one of the arms, great big arches, uh, five different height of arches, five different bells on it, and I just needed to cut a slot right there. So I thought I'd talk a little about, well, how do you measure it? You know, why do you want to put it here rather than there? How wide do you need it? How deep do you need it? And it's actually a little more complex than you would think. So what I need to do is, I need, just need a slot right in here. So when I make my bell and put a ring on it, I can take that ring down in that slot. This piece of pipe, I'm going to have to fit down inside that hole all the way through. And then I'm just going to weld it on each end and then come inside that slot. And I'm going to cut out that center section of the pipe so the ring actually has some place to go. And then I can just put a pin in it, you know, pick everything up in place, put the pin in it. Now the bell is hung. And just because of the way this arch is actually going to stand, I know I'm going to have to go a little bit down arch, if you will, more than I would above the pin. You know, rather than center it, I'm actually going to want to off-center it just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of room to hang better, just so it doesn't you know, hang up on the edge of the hole. But I know that this is three inches wide, so really all I'm going to do is set my square at one inch, I give myself a couple marks. I'm going to come about an inch and a quarter, I guess. Now nah, let's make it an inch and a half. Inch and a half above the hole, but let's go about two inches below the hole. And that makes the slot a little bit off center. And I settled on a one inch slot simply because, well, this is three inches. So let me take an inch out of the center. That way everything's nice and even. But I also know I'm going to take some half inch rod, throw it in the forge bend up some rings to attach to my bell. So half inch, one inch slot, got a quarter inch worth of play on each side. You know, it'll fit nice, it'll look nice. So now I just need to get out my grinder, cut off wheel on it, cut this guy out real quick. Just to kind of explain what I was just doing there, I was using my hand just as a, a guide, just to help steady things. Looking at the wheel from that side, of course, you, know, you can see the line, you can get a nice, straight, smooth cut. That's why I use a cutoff wheel rather than using like the plasma cutter. I didn't cut all the way through, I didn't cut past my end marks on the long lines, but I did on the short lines, just because the wheel is too small of a diameter to poke all the way down through there. So I had to go a little bit farther to get my cut through, so now I can come back with the, the air hacksaw, and I can just finish my cut, and I wind up with a nice, straight, you know, smooth corners, and then I'll just come back and just weld up those little over cuts right there and smooth it off, and it'll all be gone. <laughs> And that's just an air-powered hacksaw and, you know, a nice little metal cutting blade on the end of it. Fits in there nice, does a nice job. Not a lot of this. <laughs> Let the machine do the work for you. I can just get my piece of pipe to fit right down in there. And you can look inside here and see, oh, wait a minute, there's a piece of pipe in the way. And then all I have to do is just come in and mark it and I can go over to the lathe and just turn this in the lathe. Cut almost all the way through with my parting tool over there. So I've got just the tiniest little bit left inside there holding everything together. Put it all back in, weld it on the, you know, on each outside edge, and then come back with the hacksaw, with the, the air hacksaw, and just make my final cut. Then I've got two nice big heavy bushings, if you will, for my half inch rod. Nice and snug up inside there, sitting in a piece of stainless steel so this won't rust, so the pin won't get captured. So that would be the next step. Go cut this out, get it all welded in, finish making my cuts, grind off all my welds, set it in place, move on to the next one. And this is another arch that I've already finished. So with the pipe stuck inside there, you can see it inside the, the little groove in here, in the little channel. You can see the pipe up inside there. And then the ring goes in with the bell hanging off of it. And then the pin just 
slides right in like that, catches that ring inside there from the belt. So that's just a quick little peek to show you all the different steps you have to go through just to do something as simple as that, you know. A lot of things you have to keep in your brain, a lot of different steps you have to do, because you don't want to do this once it's standing up. Easier to work on the bench. I do appreciate y'all watching. Reach up there and hit that notification bell for me, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Well, I just wanted to see if I measure up.